All right, so an update as to where we're, where we are with the pulse rifle, 3D printed pulse rifle built. Um, so there's the completed design, of course. Um, now started printing the parts and finishing up some of them to a reasonable level. Um, started uh, toying with uh, the Majenko kit, getting that installed to make sure it's going to actually function the way I want it to. Um, the space cage section at the front has been um, glued and sanded and uh, pump grip fitted uh, and that's all functioning as it should. Um, the magwell has been cleaned up and um, got all the switches fitted and what have you. Uh, handle I have I've yet to finish um, sanding etc and cleaning that up but um, just to test it out functionality wise I thought I'd uh, pop it all together so you can sort of see where it's at so far um, and we'll just run through the functionality of the Majenko kit um, as it stands at the moment so you've got your uh, counter which set, sits at 95 um, when you there's a little speaker connected to it when you first connect up your power you get a let me see if I can replicate it do it that's going to be too hard. It gives you a little start-up chime, and um, it counts down from 99 to 95. Um, all right, so you've got your trigger for your main blaster, which also activates your counter. And your sound is coming from your little speaker. And you've got your counter that counts down. You get to zero, you get the empties click. Now, the shotgun section is done on a has a separate counter. And how it works is when the action slides back, let me see if I can do this, pushes on a little micro switch and then it turns forward. You see, it comes up with a from before, and then there's a little dot down there to indicate that there's a grenade loaded. A separate little grenade trigger in here will activate the sound so as your slide comes back and you've got your muzzle flash in the end the little LEDs in there, if you can see them when you fire. So, um, once you run out of grenades, um, you'll get an empty click on that as well. you drop the magazine and it will reset the counter. Now I'm going to need both hands to do that so I'm just going to pop the camera down for a sec. Yeah, the rear earth magnet that holds this in is, um, does quite a good job. Okay, so you hear it come up with the magazine sound. And you get two lines of P. And then once you reinsert your magazine, it clicks in and the counter comes back up to zero. And the magazine will slide in. And then in the place so the magnets hold in the place and your counters reset and ready to go
Can't even see these LEDs. Yeah. Um, and of course there's um, an LED connection for the main barrel for when you're shooting the actual main blaster as well. So. so there you go. So that's where it's at at the moment. Um, I've had to order some more PLA so that I can continue printing. Um, as I've only got a small amount left. So um, yeah, not sure what next to go on with. Um, I'm thinking maybe the, the stock um, get the stock section done um, then maybe the internal the bolt the bolt uh, the barrel uh, vent section and then I'll go on and do the uh, the shrouds last which is uh, split into three sections because it's just too large to to do on my printer in one go so there we go that's where we're at and um, I'll keep you posted as we make more progress cheers